Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion, uh, chlorine and its compounds, and we are discussing the chemical properties of hydrogen chloride. Uh, one of the uh, properties that we saw of hydrogen chloride is that uh, it dissolves in water to form an acidic solution called hydrochloric acid. So hydrochloric acid is a solution formed when hydrogen chloride is dissolved uh, in water. And on this, we are saying that HCl gas, uh, when uh, it dissolves in water, uh, we get aqueous HCl. And this is hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid uh, has two ions. We have hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So the acidity is because of the presence of hydrogen ions. And that's why we earlier said that uh, when you introduce a moist blue litmus paper, that paper turns red because of the presence of hydrogen ions that make the solution acidic. Uh, we saw that uh, the gas is highly soluble in water and this one can be demonstrated whereby if you have the gas coming from the source, it should be dissolved through a funnel that is just put on the surface of water. A funnel that is just put on the surface of water. to make sure that no sucking back occurs, to prevent a sucking back. So we have HCl gas, then we have water here, and of course we have the funnel to provide a large surface area. provide a large surface area for dissolution, for the gas to dissolve. So this is making aqueous HCl. So you need to dissolve the gas over a wide surface area of the, of the water and the funnel should be placed just near the surface. And this one is to prevent the sucking back. So a point to note is that uh, the funnel above should be placed near the surface. Just near the surface to prevent sucking back of water. The gas is highly soluble in water and all of it can dissolve creating a vacuum that sucks back the water. So it should just be placed on the surface of, of the water. So basically that is uh, uh, how the hydrogen chloride uh, uh, dissolves in water to form an acidic solution called uh, hydrochloric acid. Number two is that hydrogen chloride reacts with ammonia. It reacts with ammonia to form dense white fumes of ammonium chloride, 
to form dense white fumes of ammonium chloride. And you can see that this is the test. This is the test for hydrogen chloride. So to test for hydrogen chloride gas, uh, you react the gas with ammonia and where the two gases meet, they form some dense white fumes. And those dense white fumes are as a result of the formation of ammonium chloride. So we have ammonia gas plus HCl gas, they form ammonium chloride. And this is what you are calling dense white fumes. Very heavy fumes of ammonium uh, chloride. Uh, the other property of uh, hydrogen chloride is that uh, hydrogen chloride solution reacts with metals reacts with metals above hydrogen in the reactivity series those metals above hydrogen in the reactivity series to produce a salt and hydrogen gas So in other words, we are saying that uh, <coughs> HCl solution plus any metal that is above hydrogen in the reactivity series will produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Let's say it's magnesium. We get magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas. Balance the equation. If you have a metal such as zinc, Then we shall have the salt, which will be zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. So you can see that uh, in these cases, hydrogen gas is being uh, liberated, is being produced. And we know that hydrogen gas uh, burns with a pop sound when mixed with air. So... That is basically how to test that the gas that is being produced is actually a hydrogen gas. So we'll have an assignment on this. So the assignment, the first question, explain why hydrogen chloride is dissolved in water using a funnel. Two, what is the test for hydrogen chloride gas? Number three, write balanced chemical equations between aqueous hydrogen chloride with copper metal and with iron. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>